Hello, my name is Khadija Kenyon. I am a senior interdisciplinary studies major from New Haven, Connecticut. Hello, my name is Dwight Jones. I'm a sociology major from Chicago, Illinois. Hi, my name is Manaya Leffert. I am a junior accounting major and I'm from Suitland, Maryland. Hello, my name is Jasmine Kroma, a first year strategic communications major from Charlotte, North Carolina, and this is our TED Talk. Today, we will be discussing the different types of communication in the animal kingdom. And I will be covering auditory communication within the animal kingdom. Now, one way in which auditory communication is used within the animal kingdom is for mating purposes. An example of this would be the male American alligator. They use a combination of sounds and displays to get a female's attention to show that they want to mate. When a male alligator wishes to mate with another female, he does a number of different things, such as roar, slap his head against the water, tap the nose of the female, nudge her, and shove up against her, all in order to get her attention. Another way in which auditory communication is used within the animal kingdom is to alert other animals or people of an intruder or someone coming close to their territory. An example of this would be, uh, let's say someone has a pet dog. If, uh, if there was a person walking down the street or another person entering the home in which the dog lives, it's more than likely that the dog will bark or make some sort of loud noise to alert the owner or anyone else around that there is another person coming close to their territory or there is another person in their territory. However, some animals uh, make different noises for different occasions. An example of this would be a coyote. Coyotes are some of the are one of the noisiest animals in North America. They use a series of different noises such as barking, yipping, and most famously howling. They do this in order to let other coyotes know where they are or to uh, mark their territory. These are just a few ways and a few different reasons, a lot of main reasons that uh, auditory communication is used within the animal kingdom. animals use chemical communication or pheromones to communicate. They may leave their scent to mark territory or attract mates. They often use smells to find prey and identify other animals. A scent post is something that is marked by an animal with its scent. It sets the boundaries of an animal's territory. For example, the male mountain lion often kicks up piles of pine needles, dirt, or leaves with its hind feet and urinates on the pile to mark its territory. Even snakes use their forked tongues to taste or collect pheromones of prey animals that are in the air. They have receptors in the roof of their mouths that can help taste and smell the pheromones. is called tactile communication. Tactile, meaning touch, helps animals to transmit messages and information to others of their own species. There are four different ways that tactile communication can convey a message. Through fear, dominance, comfort, and affection. Um, there are several examples of this being shown in the animal kingdom, but here are a few. Um, when cats are kittens, the kittens usually nuzzle their mothers to show um, affection. Um, horses who are trying to ward off threats will kick, use their hind legs to kick each other to ward off threats. Um, giraffes will usually wrap their necks to show affection and some species of primates will lick or clean each other to also show affection. Um, one way that this is used in human communication, tactile communication, um, is for those who are visually impaired. And meaning that um, for those who have um, 
a hard time seeing things, they will have, um, usually public places will have signs that have um, places for them to feel out um, the bumps to convey the message to them. Um, so for example, they usually have these on the bathroom signs where they say girl or boy and right under the fonts for those who can actually see there is a um, a kind of array of dots that those who are visually impaired can feel to convey the message that this is a girl or a boy bathroom. Other examples of tactile communication include dogs licking their pups to show cl to clean and to stimulate their development, and baboons use touch to show affection and groom each other. I will be talking about visual communications of animals that comes in two forms. One, badges. Two, displays. Badges, the colors and the shape of the animal, are structural adaptations such as the bright yellow feather of the male American goldfish. The bright colors tell a prospective mate that the male is a suitable choice. Displays are the behaviors animals exhibit, such as the glow of a firefly, to attract mates, or when a dog wags its tail, to let you know that he or she is happy. Visual communications is the least effective since the animals must be close enough to see one another. Visual signals are most often used during the day because they simply can't be seen in the dark of night. Animals like birds and humans use signals because they are active and awake during the day and can easily see these types of signals being communicated. So one way we have been introduced to um, animal communication and behavior in pop culture has been um, through the Disney nature film or documentary called Chimpanzee and it follows a little chimp named Oscar who was adopted by an alpha male after being abandoned by his mother and in the film it shows a scene where his alpha male um, bangs on the tree to let um, predators know that that is his territory and to be protective over um, Oscar the chimp and the banging on the tree symbolizes the tactile um, communication therefore letting those predators know that this is his territory and that Oscar is his um, child so that is one way that you can see animal communication in pop culture Here are a few more ways animals communicate within the animal kingdom. Some examples of visual. Cobras inflate their hood to scare other creatures away. Peacocks use their elaborate wings during their courting rituals. Examples of auditory communication include elephants using their trunks to talk to other elephants in long distances, male whales using their song to communicate with females, and wolves howling to call other wolves in the pack. Lastly, some chemical examples of communication include cats rubbing against objects to mark their scent, ants using pheromone trails to follow each other, and skunks using their signature smell to deter predators. Tactile communication examples include dogs licking their pups to bond clean, to bond, clean and stimulate their development, and baboons using touch to show affection and groom each other. So hopefully you have learned the different ways animals can communicate. Although they may not be as advanced or complex as those of, 
as that of human communication, they still get the job done. Visual, auditory, tactile, and chemical communication are all four ways that have helped, commu that have helped animals communicate.